Now, as I mentioned, um, this week's uh, uh, this week's um, tip of the week is <laughs> saving 3D views of a project. And so let's just kind of go through that. First, to save the 3D view of a project, we first must organize those uh, folders for the project. So to do that, we go to our um, uh, view map. We go to the bottom of the view map. You'll see some buttons down here. Uh, the first button is for saving a view. Um, I, excuse me, the first button is for editing a view. The second button is for saving a view. The third button is for creating a folder. And this one is for cloning, and this one is for deleting views. If we want to create a folder, we go to this button right here, which is in the middle, and we click that button to create a new folder. Once we've done that, oops, looks like I got the wrong picture here. <laughs> It'll bring up a little dialog here where you can actually enter in the name. And then you'll have a new folder here that you can place um, your... Um, Okay, sorry about that. Something's missing here. Anyway, first you want to create a new folder here, and um, then give it a name. Once you give it a name, then you can save the view to the folder. So we click the new folder, we give it a name, create our folders in here, and notice once we've done that, we then want to save the view. So to do that, we click Save Current View. Save View dialog will come up, and then we enter in uh, the view name, and then define. And, and, you know, usually these will be preset to what we want because we'll see the view back here and those will be fine and we'll say okay. But always take a look at these, make sure everything's set to what you want. You can always make a change later, but it's always good to set it at first in terms of what your um, settings, uh, desired settings want to be. We can also, of course, save 3D views of a project um, using the same method. Uh, first thing, of course, we want to do is go and create a cutaway. Um, so let's say, for example, we're doing a, a cutaway view that we want to save. So we go to our marquee tool, uh, draw a marquee and plan, go uh, open that view, and it'll do a, a 3D cutaway, or we use the 3D cutaway command. Either way will work. And then once we have that 3D cutaway, we click that Save Current View button again, and now we're saving that 3D section cutaway. And of course, we always want to pay attention to the 3D um, only area down here, because when we're saving these 3D views, one of the things it allows us to do is to filter and cut the elements in 3D. Do we want to only show certain uh, elements? Uh, do we want to generate in the 3D window or in the photo render window or in the sketch window? Uh, what 3D style do we want to have assigned to this? Um, if we are doing a rendering, what is our rendering scene we're going to use as a basic renderer? So you really want to pay attention to this, including if you're doing a rendering, the size down here, because that gets saved with uh, this particular view. And therefore, in the future, when you double-click it, it'll do a rendering based upon those preset settings. And of course, we can also um, edit views after we've saved that. To do that, uh, you select the view that you want to edit. You click the first button, which is to edit those views. It's called the View Settings button. And so it will then open up the View Settings. And you'll notice a slight difference here than when we save a view, and that is this top uh, row up here. This top row is only available when you're editing a view. And as you'll see here, it says select it one editable. So that tells you you're editing a view. The other thing that gives it away as you're editing a view is it says get current window settings. So when I open this up, I can click get current window settings. So whatever changes I have made in this view will now be applied to my view settings. And so when I click OK, it's now updated. 